Hey there, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us here on CBS News Midweek. I'm Errol Barnett. And I'm Lana Zak. Here's a look at the top stories we are following for you right now. A fiery train crash in Greece killed dozens of people when a passenger train collided with a freight train. Police have already made an arrest in connection to the disaster. A JetBlue plane narrowly avoided crashing into a private jet while trying to land in Boston. The FAA says this jet crossed onto the runway and took off without clearance. And the jury in the Alec Murdoch double murder trial is visiting the crime scene today. The panel could begin deliberations in the double murder case as early as tomorrow. And later for you this hour, semiconductor makers vying for money allocated through the CHIPS Act have a unique requirement, offering affordable child care for workers. The White House Infrastructure Coordinator joins us to discuss the plan. And Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot will not serve another term after failing to make it to the city's runoff. We'll have more on where the high-profile election goes from here. All right, a lot to get to this afternoon, but we begin in Greece. The nation's transport minister has resigned in the wake of a deadly train crash there. Yeah, he called it his duty to step down out of respect for the victims. At least 36 people are dead and 85 others are hurt. A passenger train crashed head-on with a cargo train near the city of Larissa. That's about 235 miles north of Athens. The cause of the crash isn't immediately clear. Authorities arrested a station master and charged him, saying he was negligent. But the station master claims a technical failure is actually to blame. CBS News foreign correspondent Remy Innocencio joins us from our London bureau with more on this. Remy, we understand this was a high speed impact. The first few cars apparently have disintegrated, have melted because of that. What are witnesses yeah. saying about this crash? And what's the update from authorities on rescue efforts? Right, Errol. Well, from what some survivors